A family is desperate for answers in a double shooting that left one man dead and his teenage son in critical condition. I'm Shay Rozzi. Sarah has the night off. We've been covering Tulsa's latest homicide since it happened just after noon today near 56th Street North and MLK Jr. Boulevard. Fox 23's Alex Cash is live after talking with family members tonight who lost one loved one and hope they don't lose the other. Alex. This family is devastated. This mum is dealing with the loss of her son as her grandson fights for his life. The shooting happened at her home and she just wants to know who did this and why. A mum and grandmother dealing with shock and grief. They shot my son six times and my grandson four times. This was Definitely intentionally. Gaylene Goff says she left her son, 34-year-old Micah, and grandson Malik, who's 16, at home around noon on Friday. Soon after, her loved ones were gunned down. I heard they wouldn't let me up here. My grandson was in the front door bleeding to death. There, and my son was dead in the backyard. Gaylene says Micah died at the house and Malik is in the hospital fighting for his life. He hanging off my thread and his daddy is dead. It's touch and go. They don't know. It's touch and go. They, they, they just don't know. Gaylene says Micah was a good dad. He rode horses. He spent time with his boys. He has three sons, and the other Malik that was here with him, his oldest son, they shot him too. He spent time with his sons all the time. He loved his kids just as I love my kids. The street outside the house was taped off while police investigate. Gaylene says officers searched through her home and she says that there was one other person at the house when the shooting happened. Broad open daylight and ain't nobody seen nothing. Even the person was here that they let go, ain't nobody seen nothing. Police say they don't have a lot of information on the gunman, but said he was wearing black shorts and no shirt and that he ran away from the area. Gaylene says someone must know something. For somebody to come in my home and do this, for what reason? What reason did they have great enough just to take their life and come in my home? I don't understand it. I really truly don't understand it. I hope whoever did it don't have kids of their own and don't have to feel what they just made me feel. I hope they don't. Police are searching for this gunman this evening. If you have any information that can help this family, you're asked to call the police. You can do that without giving your name at Crime Stoppers. The number for that is 918-596-COPS. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.